Hey, what's going on everybody? Nick here from The Daily Gunner. I uh, promised you guys on the Facebook page that I would show you the proper process for turning your used 223 brass into brand new 300 blackout brass. So that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing that you need is a 300 blackout sizing die set or just a 300 blackout die set uh, with the decapping pin and the uh, sizer and all that. So let me zoom in real quick on here and I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do to set it up. So right now mine's already ready to go. But basically, right here in this gap, what you want to do is turn your die down to where it touches the shell holder. All right, and when it touches the shell holder, you want to back it up about a quarter of a turn and then set your lock nut. Once you've done that, your press is ready to size your 300 blackout. So the first step in this whole process is to come over here, you're going to need a little chop saw and you can pick this one up at Harbor Freight I believe for, I think it was $32 at the one here locally that I picked it up from. What you want to do is place your brass in here with this hind end where that first notch is right there that bends in for your uh, extractor to catch on. You want to set that right at the back side of these two blocks, okay? Do that. And that should align this so that when your saw comes down, it cuts right at the neck of the case. You don't want to go too far. If you go too far, then your case will end up too short. So make sure you're cutting right at the edge of the neck of this case right here, all right? So you have that. You want to make sure that you have a chamfer and deburring tool. You also want to have uh, the Lee, uh, let's see, case gauge with the cutter and also the shell holder that you can set into a drill press like I have right here. That makes sizing your casings or trimming them down to the proper length really, really expeditious. So you can get that done really quick. So you've got your case set. You want to make sure that you tighten this down pretty well. I know this is not the right tool. My proper tool is inside. I usually keep a, a pair of vice strips clamped onto here, it just makes it easier because the shell tends to move around a little bit. So first step is to chop the neck off. Make sure you don't tighten it too much, otherwise you'll squeeze the case. It's getting resized, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, so you've got it chopped. So the next thing that you want to do, some people like to cut or like to trim at this point. I like to actually go ahead and uh, chamfer and deburr. All right, so do the outside, do the inside. Get any little shavings out of there. Just put a little bit of this, I got some Hornady Unique uh, Case Lube. Just dab your finger on there and get a little bit on your fingers and just kind of lube up that case real good. And then put a little bit on the inside of the case as well, especially for your first couple that you're running through your sizing die because you want to make sure it doesn't get stuck up in there. All right, so you get a little bit on the inside and you got it all nice and looped up on the outside. You know, place your shell into your press, push it all the way up, bring it back down. And as you can see, now it's cut and it's sized to 300 blackout here on the top. It's now gone from a 223 to a 300 blackout. Problem is, it's not the right size yet. So, the next step is to place your case inside of the attachment that Lee will send you with your uh, case gauge and cutter. And this is the lock stud and trimmer and lock stud, I think is what this is called. So anyway, you wanna set it in there real nice. You wanna grab a hold of your cutter and flip your drill press on. And then all you have to do is just run this up inside of the case and hold it until it cuts it all the way out. All right. and this one's not working right because you do need to deprime it. Mine is not deprimed right now because I broke the decapping pin. So I'll show you with another piece that's already been sized just how this works. If you want to zoom in right about here. Get a good view of it trimming it off. Just like that, it's now trimmed. And you'll know because it'll stop 
cutting, you'll obviously see it. Now, one of the other things I like to do personally, a lot of people take it out and hand chamfer and burr, but while I've already got this thing in the uh, lock nut up here, I like to leave it on, take my chamfer and deburr tool, hit it real quick, just like that. And now, it is cut anywhere from 1.358 to 1.361, uh, overall length of your cartridge, which is all right within Sammy spec. Okay, so that is the quick and easy way to take your 300 black or your 223 casings and turn them into 300 blackout. And I like to also just when I'm done, once again, just run them up real quick. It helps to take any of the little burrs that are on here off, and that's your brand new case. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Nick again from the Daily Gunner. Uh, if you want these T-shirts and a myriad of other pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment, pro-Liberty t-shirts are on sale, and I'll put the link in the uh, video description. Um, as well, make sure that you guys give this video a like, uh, comment in the section below if you'd like to learn some other cool little tips and tricks, um, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you guys are up to date on everything that's going on. Thanks for watching.